So hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, I'm going to try and do the Times Cryptic crossword now, so I'll, I'll talk you through it. Um, just a reminder to those of you who enjoy the channel, we do have a Patreon page now. I'll put a link in the chat and there'll be a, a link at the end of the video as well. Um, and uh, this uh, allows people to become patrons of the site, so for, uh, for a couple of dollars a month you can um, uh, support us and these videos take a lot of our time so if any of you would be interested in supporting the channel we'd really be most grateful. Um, we're not going to go behind paywalls or anything though, the videos will still be free etc so this is really just completely optional uh, for those of you out there who may um, may be willing and able to, to help us out. So without further ado let's look at this. So vow of all trusty henchmen at the start. Well, this is this is a nice easy start for one across. Um, as usual, what we're looking for is to find the definition either at the start of a clue or at the end of the clue. So let's take a look at the two options here. We've got the word vow. Well, that looks like a, a possible definition. And at the other side, we've got at the start. Um, now, the thing about words like at the start is they, they sound like instructions. Anything about position uh, it is very likely to be part of wordplay. Um, so I think we're looking for a four letter word that means vow. That means the rest of it's got to be wordplay of all trusty henchmen at the start. Well, if we take the starting letters of the words of all trusty and henchmen, we get the word oath. Um, so let's try and use that one down. Cricket sides not consistent. Okay, well, uh, again, we need to decide which side is going to be the, the definition. Is it going to be cricket or cricket sides? Or is it going to be not consistent? Um, well, it's the latter. Uh, and cricket sides, the on and the off side are the two sides you get in cricket. And if something is on and off, it's not consistent. Again, quite an easy clue. Two down. During the day, hives may be given whitewashing. Um, uh, da, 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 white washing. Okay, yes, I have got that. Um, so, again, what we're looking for in, try, in terms of trying to distinguish between the wordplay and the definition is can we see any instructional words or words indicating position? And here we've got during the day. Well, during is an interesting word there, because if you put, you can certainly put one word in another word, and you might describe that as during. Um, so we, if that's right, we need to put a word for a day around hives, maybe. That could be an anagram of hives, maybe can be an anagram indicator there. Um, or it could mean a synonym for hives. And the whole thing will mean whitewashing. Now, whitewashing is difficult. Obviously, it could mean to whitewash a fence, or it could mean to beat someone resoundingly. Uh, and let's have a look at what I think the answer is, which I think is thrashed. So here, we've got the, which is this word here. It's the the in the clue. The, T-H-E. D can be an abbreviation for day. You might see that on a on a clock, you know, 2D, 14H, you know, 20 seconds or something like that. Um, so we've got the D around rash, and hives are certainly a rash, to get thrashed, which is whitewashing. Chap in Scot Scottish resort spoken of personal, of postal system. Uh, okay. So whenever we see words like spoken of or we hear or um, this is almost always a homophone indicator. So we need a word that sounds like uh, uh, what we're actually going to write in the clue. Uh, and postal system, we've got a blank R at the start. Well, it's very likely it starts therefore with air. Um, air, of course, could be. Scottish resort would be a y r. So if we write air instead, that is a homophone for the resort. A chap would be a male spelt like that. But if we use a homophone of that, we get 
that an airmail is a postal system. So the way to get into that clue is to really just to realize that we need to use sounds like as, a, as an indicator. Pipes say relayed after landlord's latest complaint. Okay, right, so this is a nice clue. Um, again, we need to decide which side of the clue is uh, the definition. And the, the critical part here, actually, believe it or not, is this word relayed. If you relay something, you you do it over, you mend it, you, um, you, you mess with it in a sense. So again, relayed is an anagram indicator. Now, once we realize that, we've got eight letters here in the words pipes and say. So we need one more letter to get a nine letter word. And that could mean a complaint. Now, the way to get the extra letter, again, is to read the rest of it after landlord's latest. Now, the latest letter, the last letter in the word landlord is a D. And that's giving us this D here. So we need this D followed by an anagram of pipes, say. And we're going to get a complaint if we do that properly. So have a look, see if you can spot what it is. The answer, dyspepsia. 14 across. Meadow and fen almost completely rank. Uh, meadow and fen almost completely rank. Mm, I don't know that one yet. Let's have a look at 10 down. End user began originally to go after a cattle breed. Mm, well, here, the, the word originally is the one word in the clue that screams out. Originally can mean two things in a cryptic crossword clue. It can mean an anagram indicator. You, you present the letters originally in a new way. It can mean the first letters as well. Obviously, the origin of a word could be described as its starting letter. So how many letters do we have in the words end, user, and began? You can see that's 12 letters but the clue is 13. So where do we get an extra letter if this is indeed an anagram indicator? Well, let's read the rest of it. End user began originally to go after A. Well, here's an A. So can we put an anagram of end user began after an A and get a cattle breed? Well, yes, we can. Aberdeen Angus. Oops, like a type is the answer. Four down. Range in the end, lacking finish. Um, okay. The difficulty with a clue like this is there are lots of bits to it, and discovering which is the right bit is, isn't easy. But there's a couple of clues. Lacking finish. Again, that's that. That is an instruction. If something lacks a finish. You know, you can see how a word could lack a finish. You know, it would have its last letter removed. And therefore, when we read this clue, we should be thinking, OK, well, it's probable that the other side of the clue is the definition. So if we're looking for a five letter word, which means range, range, you should always be thinking of a mountain range. Now, if you can see a mountain range that fits this pattern, the rest of it becomes much easier. So let's. Let's put in the one that occurred to me, the Atlas Mountains. And then in the end is at last. And if we take the finishing letter off the end of that phrase, we just get left with Atlas, which is the answer. Mediterranean Islander is swapping halves for stars. Hmm. Mediterranean Islander. Uh, I should be able to solve that, and I'm not seeing it, so let's move on. Travelling home, time flew, it's strange. Okay, well, uh, I have solved that. The way I solved it was by thinking of the word home. Now, home, in a cryptic crossword clue, 90% of the time is the word in. Because if you're at home, you're in. 
And obviously this is a phrase, 2, 7. So in seemed to me immediately likely to be this first part of the phrase. Now knowing that, I know then that the word travelling must be the definition. So I'm looking for a phrase 2, 7 that means travelling that fits this pattern. Home, time, again incredibly uh, often it's just a T. So have you got it yet? Once, and again, cryptic crossword solving very often is about finding an answer that fits and then justifying it. Um, so I thought of a phrase that fits, which was in transit. And then I was able to back into why it was correct. It would be quite hard to solve the clue cold without having you know, the answer to work back to actually in this place. Because the word flu is hinting at the word ran. And then it's strange is just an anagram of it's I T and S at the end there. You can see that gives sit. So in transit is the whole answer. Let's try and use this T. Traveller to Hebridean Islands crossing river. Hmm. Traveller. Um, I should be able to solve that. Can't. Um, let's go back to this. Ah, oh, this is going to be field something, isn't it? It was meadow. Field marshal probably. Um, Yes, it is. So here, rank is hinting at a military rank. So meadow is field. Fen is marsh. And almost completely, well, all is a word that means completely, A double L. So almost the word all is just the A and the L. So field, marshal. 15 down. A Greek swimmer brings in wrong sign for czar. Um, I want to put Alexander immediately. <laughs> uh, ah, yes, and it is. It's a slightly classical clue, this one. Um, so the difficulty here, I suppose, is not seeing that the definition is the word czar and then thinking of Alexander. It's understanding what wrong sign might mean. Because my first thought when I read it was a wrong sign is a cross or it's an anagram of the word sign. But in fact, if you were marking a script, if you were a teacher marking a script, you would indicate uh, that something was wrong by simply putting an X. And that's what wrong sign is hinting at here. So we need, this A is just this A. So we need a seven letter Greek swimmer to put around an X. How about Leander? Um, that gives Alexander, who of course was a czar. Record view about contest with you once. Hmm. Record view about contest. You once could be could be a number of things. It could be the because that would be an old word for you, or it could be ye. Um, but again, I'm not not getting that immediately. So let's come back to it. Very tempting argument and how it developed. Uh, well here again I haven't solved this but I'm pretty confident I know how it works I think it, it's the definition is very tempting and I can see that the words argument how and it are 13 letters and developed is a very common anagram indicator so I expect we're looking for an anagram argument how it and something that means very tempting um, no it's not coming Let's go. Saw user maybe as clubbable type. Hmm. Clubbable type. No. Furniture makers revolutionary new aromatic oil. Oh goodness. There are so many of these aromatic oils that's always a slightly terrifying phrase to see as in a clue. Furniture maker. Hmm words I'm thinking of there are things like Chippendale, Chippy, uh, no, I'm going to have to back into this top corner I think, that's not not a good sign. Animal that's long occupying heart of Sahara, oh, Sahara, not Sahara, Sahara. Um, okay, this is a nice clue. Um, so again, if we're looking at sort of descriptive words in the clue talking about position, 
we've got occupying heart of. So that's suggesting to me we need to find the heart of Sahara. Well, the heart, the middle letters of Sahara are H and A there in the middle, you can see. So we need to put something in the middle of the H and the A to give us an animal. Now you've probably all thought of an animal that fits in here. And again, it's just justifying it. So let's put hyena in. And long, if you yen for something, you long for it. So hyena is the answer there. Let's try this one ending in A. Far eastern, far east cities, very big area, including a ski centre. Okay, well here you might be helped if you know that very big is oversize. And that very often is abbreviated to OS in a cryptic crossword. So if we had this construction when we're looking for a far east city, I'm sure Osaka would occur. And you can see you've got OS here, for very big area, is the letter A, including A, that's this A, and ski centre. Well, the central letter of the word ski is a K. So you put all that together, you get Osaka. Greyhound Stadium's favourite snack. Uh, Greyhound Stadium's favourite snack dog something uh, don't know. 20 down offhand and cold as usual ignoring our lot offhand. No. by end of round Rocky's knocked out okay well here by end of round well end of round is screaming the letter D to me i.e. the last letter of the word round. So if I put that there, can you think of how the rest of the clue might work? Rocky's knocked out. Rocky could be an anagram indicator, but here we need, you know, we'd need six letters to anagram, and that's not apparent how we'd get that. So we'd probably need a six-letter word which means Rocky, and the whole thing, the whole seven-letter word, will mean knocked out. So, Drugged is the answer. If you're knocked out, you might be drugged. And of course, rugged. If something is rugged, it's rocky. So D plus rugged gives you drugged. Current number one in golf, masterful in play. Okay. Um, well, masterful is nine letters. And if you see any words that can be part of the international radio alphabet, so words like golf would be G, Romeo would be R, Alpha, Papa, things like that, you can always try and substitute that letter instead of the of the word itself. So golf here could be hint, hint, hinting at the letter G. And G plus masterful would be 10 letters. So I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking of that, and in fact, reading the clue again, I think number one in golf is actually suggesting the first letter of the word golf. So, in fact, it's an interesting clue because the number one and number one in isn't really necessary. If this had been current golf masterful in play, the clue would have worked in in the sense that it would have been technically correct. It just wouldn't have read very well. So the compilers added the words number one in uh, to give a different way of cluing the G there. But we're still looking for an anagram of G and masterful and it's going to give a current rather than a current number one. So the answer is Gulfstream. So this is Top Dog is it or something like that. Greyhound Stadium favourite snack Um, hot dog it must be that's a snack Greyhound Stadium's favourite I suppose if you're the hot dog you're the you know the most likely dog to win um, so hot dog I think is the answer 
offhand, well, that's going to be casual now, isn't it? So cold can be C. You might see a C on a tap. That would indicate it was the cold tap. As, well, that would be probably just this. Usual ignoring our lot. Well, us are our lot. So if we take us from the word usual, we get UAL, which is casual. Mary's portrait of two Athenian characters. Hmm. Two Athenian characters is immediately making me think of we need two Greek letters here. We need to put two Greek letters together and we're going to have a, a word that means Mary's portrait. Um, hmm. Let's try 22 across. Job holder has to copy across fifth suggestion. Hmm job holder a point e to copy would be to ape fifth suggestion point e i think it might be a point e it's quite a tricky clue this um so i think it's saying that an appointee is a job holder to copy, if you ape somebody, you copy them. So you can see we've got A, P, and E there. And that's going across, i.e. it's going around. It's bridging. Fifth suggestion question mark. Now, question mark is saying that this is a, a loose way of describing something. It's a bit of a pun. And point E could be described as the fifth suggestion, I suppose. You know, point A might, I go through point A, point B, point C. Um, and you get to point E, which might be the fifth thing that you talk about. So very loose and not easy. And don't worry if you didn't get it. So now Mary's portrait is going to be Pieta, of course. So we've got Pi and Eta, two Greek characters. So we understood how it worked. I was just too slow in understanding the answer. So get ready to fence. Well, that's going to be on guard. Section of kitchen garden. Now, there's always one clue like this in a Times crossword. So if you're absolutely stuck, you could literally go through the whole crossword and try and find this one clue where the answer is in fact hidden in the words themselves. So if we take a section of the words kitchen garden, you can see E-N-G-A-R-D-E, -E, which is the answer on guard. And as I say, there's the limit those to one in each times crossword, but it is a way of getting an answer. Old secretary left item in Hatton Garden. Uh, old secretary. Okay, well, Hatton Garden is famous for its jewellery shops. So we might be looking for, you know, a gem or a diamond or a, you know, a ring or something like that. So old secretary, old is very often O. A secretary, very often in crosswords, it's a PA. And left is very often L. Put all that together, we get opal, uh, which might be something you'd find in Hatton Garden. So looking at 16 down, I'm just the letters, I haven't looked at the clue yet. I'm thinking of agitprop, which is a word that I know well. And in fact, that's the answer, isn't it? Politically loaded material is agitprop. Um, it's a difficult word. You only see it in crosswords, really, um, but a good one to know. So why, why is it this? A good, well that's going to be A and G I would have thought, supporter, a supporter is a prop, penning it, so surrounding it pens this it here, agitprop. Airy number with details every so often, airy, well that's going to be, is it going to be ethereal? Um, Yes, it is. Um, so a number here is not a number as in a digit or an integer. It's something that numbs you. Um, and something that numbs you in a hospital sense might be ether. So ether is the number. Uh, and then details every so often. Or well, if we take the regular letters of the word details, so just take the even letters in positions 2, 4 and 6, we get E, A and L which is how the last bit works. So our record is going to be 78 now. So here we are looking for a number in the 
digital sense. <laughs> so 78, how does this work? So uh, view is a site, S-I-G-H-T, and that goes around contest. Well, a contest is an event. And ye, ye was, was our word for an old word for you there in the middle. So 78 is the answer there. So we're left with this top bit. Very tempting uh, argument and how it developed. So it does look like it is an anagram still, doesn't it? Because it, we can get the letters ing from the argument and how it developed. Very tempting. Um, mouth watering. There you go. Let's have a look back up here. Mediterranean Islander is swapping halves for stars. Um, ah, why can't I see what that is? Mediterranean Islander. Traveller to Hebridean Islands Crossing River. Um, nope. Saw user may be as clubbable type. Saw user, maybe. A saw is very often a proverb in crossword sense. So never look at the word saw and think you're looking at the past tense of the word see. Um, saw user, maybe. It's clubbable type, mixer. Um, hmm. Furniture maker. Now I think we're going to have to get three across here. Mediterranean Islander is swapping halves for stars. I think we're probably looking for stars here. Um, so how about something like Canis Major or Canis Minor? That would be a constellation. Okay. <laughs> One of the ironies about the words Minorca and Mallorca is, of course, that Canis Major and Canis Minor. <laughs> so we've got Mediterranean Islander is. So we've either got Mallorcan is or Minorcan is, and we're swapping the halves of those around. So we're just taking, you can see if we wrote Canis after the word major here, we would get Mallorcan is, which would be Mediterranean Islander is. But we're still left with a problem here because we need to work out whether this is Canis major or Canis minor, both of which I think are probably constellations. So, saw user maybe as a clubbable type, joiner? A joiner would be somebody who uses a saw, I guess. And a clubbable type, somebody who joins, might be somebody who you know is social. I quite like, I quite like joiner there. So this, our traveller then could be a tourist, couldn't it? Let's put that in. And yes, I think Hebrid Hebridean Islands two. Crossing the river. River, this river is going to be R. It's going to be this R here. So used, U I S T, is that? That does ring the vaguest of bells as being Hebridean Islands, but maybe maybe I'm misremembering. So two, I think it's just two here. Used, U I S T, is crossing. It's surrounding this R. So if all of that's correct, we need eight down. Furniture maker, rattan. Rattan might be used to make furniture. And that is the answer, because here we've got revolutionary new aromatic oil. Revolutionary is saying reverse, N for new, that's this N, and a word, a five-letter word for an aromatic oil. Well, attar, A-double-T-A-R, believe it or not, is an aromatic oil. Um, so this is what I would submit. Let's see if we're right. The pregnant pause, well, we hope we get green letters in the grid, and we do. So there we go. Now let's just check a couple of things. Now here we go. Used, just, I'm not sure quite how you say it, are two islands part of the Outer Hebrides. So north and south 
used where is the key there and here we have attar from chambers dictionary a very fragrant essential oil made in bulgaria and elsewhere chiefly from the damask rose so a nice word and finally the good crossword word agitprop and there it is in the dictionary so it comes from the russian word for agitation and propaganda um, as i say a useful one to store up in your memory for the next time it appears in the Times crossword. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful to those of you who are newer to the cryptic crossword. Um, these videos tend to be longer because you know going through every clue and talking about what I'm thinking does take time. Um, but this was this was quite an approachable one. Um, and as I say, if you are brand new and you need a start, have a look for the hidden. That that would be my tip. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.